Facebook. So this video actually goes out to a friend of mine um, who's working on a Band of Brothers. Okay, it's just a reflection. Band of Brothers themed map pack with me. Uh, he wanted to see my map. What it looked like so far. I'm doing something loosely based on Brie Court. If you remember that. And because I have to do this with one hand, it's a little bit awkward. So over here is just sort of a crap ton of trees. Actually, it's only like two trees. Just more like a crap ton of hedgerows. As you can see. Kind of double layers up here. A little tree in there. I don't know. Make a nice hiding spot. Um, and up here, a few more trees. And oops. A few more trees. And the beginning of the uh, Axis Trench with the guns in it. Here, actually, let's just make me... Let me make this full screen. Alright, so... Yeah. Um, you can see, because there wasn't really a model for... This is up, This is going to be refined a little bit right now. So you can see there's some that are out of place. But um, uh, this is what I used for that overhanging net thing that camouflages the guns. I uh, just used the vine models. Uh, I think this is the only one... I might do an, one more of them with this, because this took a really long time. But um, to cover up for my laziness, this radio will be an ambient sound. Um, thusly, it will make noise as if it was a real radio. Um, somebody sent me a message on Skype. Um, anyway, so this is the second pillbox. This is the middle one. Um, you can see the gun. This is going to have a few more props in it. Then we get on the trench into the first axis pillbox where there's nothing but a dock post just for show. Um, as you can see I've started to displace the trenches make them look a little bit more you know rugged and uh, battle-y I guess. Anyway over here you can't really see them because um, you know but um, over here is a line of trenches, uh, trenches uh, hedgerows going down a fraction of the map there's gonna be another one down there and down there actually let me show you on the graph Oop. there we go and um, so right now what we're looking at is this over here um, down here up through here there's going to be a line of hedges because up here is axis spawn you might be able to see kind of that's axis spawn and uh, down here will be the allied spawn. So let me show you the rest of that. Alright, so here's the entrance to the trench. All nicety nice. Obviously up for a little bit of refinement. This is just kind of a sandbag emplacement. I don't know if you want to overlook. As I said, up for refinement. But um, you just kind of want to overlook maybe for a sniper and machine gun. Uh, then we have the tiger tank, which does need to be raised a little bit. I don't know what happened there. Um, another little section of trees and bushes and trees and bushes and trees and bushes. Now we go up to Axis Spawn. Um, we go in here. As you can see, I've added another little sandbag emplacement. Don't know what you'd put there. Maybe, like I say, sniper and machine gun. You'd have a decent view. Um, so it's kind of covered up by both these trees and hedgerows. Should be the same thing for the allied thing. Then there's the axis spawn points. Um, you can see, tried to make it as thick as I could. And then we have the first piece of hedgerow, which, as I said, will be going on down to the sandbags. So that will be the official end of the axis spawn point. And obviously, the allies will probably spawn, um, like I say, down yonder, right down here. We'll go down there, kind of. Down yonder, probably down here, in this corner, or maybe a little bit further up. Um, they will spawn, and thusly, uh, you know, they'll have that garden thing, what have you. So yeah, there it is so far. I'm going to be working on it a little bit more through the night. I don't know if uh, there's a lot of frustration going on right now with friends who have issues and my family. Primarily, but yeah, so that's that.